Well, a woman smiling ear to ear in her mugshot here, arrested for DUI. Troopers say she rammed into the back of a car with a mom and a teen inside. We've learned the driver, Anjanette Welk, could be facing more serious charges. The victim's family tells us the mom has died. New 6's Nadine spoke with the victim's two daughters. She joins us live at the scene where this crash happened in Ocala. And Nadine, one of those daughters, was involved in the crash as well. Lisa, and it was the youngest daughter, too, at just 18 years old. I can't imagine what's going through her head. She was behind the wheel at this intersection when the crash happened, ultimately taking her mom's life. You could see the debris and shattered glass is still here. FHP telling us that it is the actions of a drunk driver that changed this young girl's life forever. Well, I loved butterflies, but that's why she always got like butterfly things. Standing near her older sister for support, 18 year old Cheyenne Kroll shows us the butterfly she put up in her mom's honor on a wooden cross planted near the intersection of Highway 27 and 60th Avenue, where a crash ultimately led to her mother's death. I kind of like, damn, my mom is never going to talk to me again. It happened on Thursday. Kroll was behind the wheel. Her mom, 60 year old Sandra Clarkson, was in the past passenger seat stopped at a red light when she says a car slammed into them from behind, pushing them underneath the trailer. Her mother was pinned inside. Her door was like locked, like couldn't open. So we had to get a crowbar and open her door before the fire got to her. And she wasn't responding. She was gasping for air, but her eyes were still open. As help was on the way, Kroll went over to the driver who slammed into them. And when I got out the car, I just had asked her like, why, you know, and she just looked up and she said, I'm sorry, that's all. However, after that driver, 44-year-old Anjanette Welk was arrested for DUI and was smiling in her mugshot, Kroll couldn't accept her apology. That disgusts me. And that just shows me she does not have no remorse for what she did at all. And um, I hope the judge sees that picture and says the same thing. So it was on Mother's Day that doctors told the girls that their mother was brain dead. On Monday, they made the decision to let her go. Because of that, FHP is now working with the state attorney's office to upgrade the suspect's charges from DUI to DUI manslaughter. We're going to hear what she told investigators she was doing and the latest on their investigation in my story tonight at 6 o'clock. Lisa. Nadine Yanis reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.